Greetings viewers and welcome to our first episode of Social Media Detox. This series has been necessitated by the fact that we are living in the time where we are so much intoxicated by what is happening on various social media. Currently, as we are talking, we have about 17 most popular social media platforms. On the top, we have Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, and these are commanding about 2 to 2.5 billion users on a monthly basis each. We are all being intoxicated mentally, physically, and spiritually by what is happening on social media. A recent report by datareporter.com shows that by July 2021, there were about 4.48 billion uh, users of social media. And this represents a staggering 57% of the total population of the world. So you can imagine that social media has become another planet, so to speak, where different people of different races are living this virtual life and it's creating a lot of various intoxicating activities that if we are not careful may lead us into temptations especially as christians and further statistics are showing that actually 16 people are joining social media every second you can imagine 16 per second and every day our uh, use of social media is showing that about 10 billion, about 10 billion hours of social media use. And that is equivalent to about 1.2 million years of planet Earth. Can you imagine? Or human existence. 10 billion hours per day are spent on social media. Equivalent to 1.2 million years of human existence on planet Earth. You can imagine this planet Earth has only been uh, in existence for about 6,000 years, but humanity has overlived it just on social media. So it's another planet where people have lived years and years and hours and hours that have been spent there. Some of them could be actually useful productive activities. And statistics are showing that actually 90% of these social media uh, uh, users are those who are between the age of 13 up to somewhere 30. These are the most prominent, and that means that we are we are very prone to various social media uh, disturbances, which shouldn't be the case. And we have necessitated that we should start a social media detox program that can help us live a life genuinely, without living in this virtual, uh, falsified, and pretentious life that people are living. Many people have committed suicides. Many people have backslidden in their faith because of what they're seeing on social media. Others are being stressed and very soon we'll be talking about what they are calling social media envy. There's a university that actually investigated and that the social media envy uh, or Facebook envy is becoming very strong. And this was done by the University of Copenhagen. They found that social media envy is on the rise where you feel jealous of your friend because of what you're seeing on, on, on the social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and, and many other, TikTok, and so on and so forth. But what should be the stance of a Christian towards social media? Mind, Character, and Personality, Volume 1. We are told that God ordained that all these technologies like social media, WhatsApp, and so on, should be there to help spread what? The gospel very fast, especially as we go towards the end of this earth's history, or as we go towards the end of the history of who? this earth. So God wants these things to be in place. But at the same time, there's a danger if we don't take care of ourselves. When you read from uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, it tells us that, Therefore, get up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 31 also tells us that in whatever we do, whether we drink or whatever we do in this life, or eat and so on and so forth, we have to do it to the honor and glory of the name of God. Now, my brothers and sisters, are we glorifying God in what we see on social media? Are we glorifying God in the way we are using social media? These and many more 
are the topics that we'll be looking at in our series of social media. So my brothers and sisters, let us remember, every day, 10 billion hours are being spent on social media, equivalent to 1.2 million years of human existence. So we have created another world where people are living way ahead of this planet Earth, and that's the will of the devil. The Bible says there's only but one way to heaven, but Lucifer has started creating these waves. He has created a complex wave in which he has to what? Lure is, uh, a lot of people to his side, but it should not be you, my brother. It should not be me, my brother. And we want to save one another from the influence or the negative influence of social media. By the way, social media detox is basically a conscious retirement from the use of social media in order to heal physically, spiritually, and most importantly, psychologically. But we are not saying that we are going to do it with social media. Why? Because this is the environment where we are living. But we want to put up various strategies that we can use to ensure that the use of social media does not cause harm to ourselves and our friends and our families. You can imagine how many hours that are being spent on social media instead of paying attention to the work of God, interacting with family, and attend to other matters that, mat that, matters that are very important in the work of God. Let us remember, social media has its positives and also has what? Its shortcomings. So we want to guide you on how best it can be used so that it doesn't stress you mentally based on what you're seeing because there's what they are calling personal edit. You have edited your life such that singular persona is what you are seeing. There's no difference between what I see on social media. When you are drinking, when you are church, I see the same face and it's creating a lot of stress and competition which shouldn't be. Let us see how we are going to share and enjoy the series for the entire month of August. And happy new month of August. And God bless you. Thank you for watching.